Lily and Dre and baby Drew and Go. And today we are cooking some, what is it, shrimp alfredo. So these are the items you will need. A little bit of fettuccine noodles, some shrimp of your choice, some lemons, some garlic, some, you know, your normal little seasoning, some alfredo sauce, and most definitely some cheese. And then you will also need about two pots, one for the noodles, one to saute the shrimp, and then you're gonna use the same pot to mix everything together. So, without further ado, <laughs> stay tuned. So you guys, make sure you add a little bit of oil to your water. That way your noodles don't stick together and don't struggle like Dre, you know? Right, Draco. All right, guys, I feel like this is a secret tip. So, you know, you got the frozen um, tail off shrimp. Usually people, they're like, oh, you don't have to wash them, just throw them in a pot. Yeah, I have no problem with that, but if you know seafood, seafood has a fishy taste. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your frozen shrimp, add them to a bowl. Not only does this defrost your shrimp, fast as hell, but this also takes away that fishy behind taste, that nasty stink, oh my god, this fresh out the ocean thing. Okay. Go ahead and separate them. They're going to take your knife and your lemons, cut them up in half, and begin to squeeze and drop it right in the water. Add these two of them, because they're only going to sit for about a couple minutes. And now that we have the shrimp all nice and prepared, what we're going to do is go ahead and turn this pot on um, medium. And then we're going to go ahead and throw some of the shrimp in here. Go ahead and throw the shrimp in. It already has like water set at the bottom of this bowl. So we're gonna go ahead and throw the shrimp in. After the shrimp is in, we go ahead and start our seasoning. So what I like to do is start off with the lemon because I don't like the fishy taste like I said before. Not only that, it helps to bring all of the seasonings together when you have seafood. So I go ahead and cut a half of a lemon. Squeeze it in. Real nice. Start to add. Start off with some garlic. It's kind of like an eyeball. Just coat the top. Then you can't never go wrong with no adobo. Adobo! Add some, you know, seasoning to that. Then after some adobo. I say cayenne pepper helps the digestive system 100%. So, go ahead and add some cayenne. Then add some garlic. Then add some garlic. Then add some garlic. You don't like spicy? Get off my page. <laughs> and then we're going to add some of this right here. The complete seasoning. It's kind of like Italian type stuff. 
But you go ahead and add your little couple teaspoons of that. After that, guys. About that much of butter will do. On medium, guys. Once this butter melts, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. But before I even give the butter a chance, I'm going to do one thing people don't do. And I say, taste your food. Glad I did, because guess what it needs? Some salt. <laughs> Y'all don't like using the regular sea salt, so I use the kosher. Just like that. A couple of seasonings here and there. Go back in with the garlic. Can't never do. When you got seafood, you can't never do too much garlic. A little cayenne, because I didn't feel it. That's about all, you guys. You're gonna just let that simmer until the noodles is done. Kid you not, this is the fastest meal you can ever make. All right, guys, I just finished cleaning up the little mess that I made as I'm cooking. Always clean as you cook. Always clean as you cook. That way you don't have to have no heartbreak. After you're done. So, just making sure these are gonna go to stick into the bottom of nothing. He added the oil, but he ain't come back and stir it. So, and guys, as soon as this, these noodles are done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add the Alfredo sauce, then add your nice shrimp, and then you basically done. Throw a little bit of cheese on top. And the final dish is done. But let me go ahead and show you guys the shrimp. The shrimp looking like right now. And we've got the noodles on the side. So as soon as these are done, we're gonna go ahead and drain this, add these, and add the Alfredo sauce. And this is the only sauce I use for either Alfredo or spaghetti. Remember, newbie put you on. You're gonna go ahead and turn this off. Cause now these are nice and warm. You don't want these to overcook when you got tough shrimp. So you just want them to get warm so that way you don't got no cold shrimp when you add them to the noodles. Even though the noodles are gonna be hot, they're just still gonna leave the noodles on warm. Those are great. That's okay. All right guys, so we're back and I went ahead and drained the noodles already. So like I said, we're gonna just add this to the noodles. This is what we're looking like. Then go ahead and add your cheese, make it cheesy, add some parsley to the top, and I'll show you the ending result. This is the end of it, guys. A little three-step process, you know? Not too bad. If you guys like. We pop out at your party, I'm with the game, and it's gonna be a robbery. So tuck your chain, I'm a killer girl, I'm sorry, but I can't chain. We ain't aiming for your body, shots hit your brain. We come from poverty, man, we ain't have a thing. It's a lot of animosity, but they won't say my name. Them killers ride with me, little nigga, don't get banged. Cause they'll do that job for me, 